I can explain. Hey guys, what's going on? I was just sitting here training for MLPV Season 3. But today we are kicking off Week 1 for the Grand Rapids Growlies with a Steam Siege Pack Battle against the Portland Polyraths. I feel like I keep doing that weird accent thing again and just keep sneaking up out of nowhere. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. But if you guys don't know anything about the Major League Pack Battles, I have participated in the last two seasons. I'm very excited to be in Season 3. So what we do is we basically get together a whole bunch of YouTube channels and we go ahead and we collab and we do some fun pack battles. You know, doing some normal pack openings but making it a little more competitive. So what we do with this is we have a point system which you can find in the description. Basically open up our packs and see who gets the better pulls. So you guys, you will need to check out our opponent, Psycho Crud. He's a super awesome Pokétuber and I'm very excited to be battling him today. So you can find his YouTube channel along with his video that he's doing. So you can go ahead and see who won this battle. But you know, if you guys have seen the last two seasons for the Grand Rapids Growlies, it's been a little rough, so I have high hopes for this season. I did go ahead and get the pin blisters, so we have the four most recent sets in their little pin blister packet thingies, but uh, we have Steam Siege, Fates Collide, Breakpoint, and Breakthrough, and we have eight whole rounds of this, so you'll be seeing one of these every week for eight weeks, so we're going to go through these twice. So I actually have eight of these pin blisters, which is great because I can finally get all the pins from all the recent sets. So I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. I can't wait to see how the Grand Rapids growly stack up against the competition this year but if you guys do want to see more information about the MLPB a ton a ton of information will be in the description we'll have my schedule down there as well so you guys can know exactly when I'm going to go ahead and upload the next one so without further ado let's go over get all set up and get this bad boy open alrighty ladies and gents check it out here's our Volcanian three pack pin blister for steam siege I feel like it's been so long since I have opened a pin blister so here's the back if you would like to read the information about the Steam Siege set and I guess just pin blisters in general. But as you can see, we do have a sticky note here and this is for our competitive picks. Now for the MLPB, this is different than like normal pack battles that I've done, but uh, you pick a competitive pick and in this case we pick two. Um, and if you actually pull that card, you get extra points. So because we are the home team, we have the home, home field advantage, so we get to pick two competitive picks. So we have Pokemon Rangers, aka Poke Rangers, full art or ninja boy uh, ninja boy I believe it's an uncommon this is obviously a full art so our point system for that is different like if you do happen if I were to pull the Pokemon Ranger full art I would get six points for that one card so holy cannoli yeah that'd be crazy so we're hoping we're hoping for the best here you know I gotta make it competitive and stuff so let's crack this open psycho you are so going down so here is our magnificent pin. We have the Volcanian. I believe the other one is Gardevoir. So we'll be seeing that one in four weeks. Well, yeah, four videos from now. So that's, I actually really, really like this one. The colors look super slick. Some real cool, nice metal pin there. So we'll go ahead and set that in the background. Looking back on it, you guys, the full art, if you pull a normal one, it's worth four points already. So like you're only getting two extra points for pulling a full art. So in the future, I'm sure I will just pick commons and uncommons. I don't even know why, like, I don't know, that scale seems so flawed. I don't know, but um, anyway, so we're still hoping for the full art regardless. I just really want that card. So today's sexy pack pick, whole oh, the sexiest pack of the day, is going to go to Eveltor. So we got two Eveltals and one Volcanian. Weird that we didn't get three different ones, but it's whatever. So Sleepy Slowpoke's gonna bring us the good luck today. Really just hoping for any sort of ultra rare. I still have a ton of cards that I need for this set. So yeah, there's a code card for you liking. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you managed to snag that code. Let me know what you got with it. Curious, I am curious. It seems that like pull rates for online stuff are like better than real life packs. I don't know if that's a rack and a actual thing, an actual thing, or if that's a myth, but I don't know. So we got a Flaffy and Amber Palm, yeah, a Lampant, Mankey, a Clinkety, Mantine, a Shell. I love the Shellos card, that's so great. We also got a Meryl. Oh, yo, a Pyroar Break, yes, that is so awesome, and a Yan Mega. So our Pyro break is worth three whole points. We get three points right there, right out of our first pack for that super studly Pyro. I don't want to cover up Volcanian. It's funny because I have all fire. Like we got Growly, Charizard, Houndoom, and Volcanian now. So we'll go ahead and set this over there and get into pack numero dos. 
<sighs> All right, you guys. Ninja boy. Where you at, ninja boy? I'll be looking for you. He's going to be sneaky. He thinks he a ninja or something, but he ain't. He's just a boy. Or is he a ninja boy? Oh, oh we have the captivating pokey puff. Yeah, we got a clang, lampant, another clink, another man time. We got a joltic, bergmite, a fungus, rufflet reverse, which isn't worth jack poopy, and a jump luff, regular rare. So that is our second regular rare, but you guys, we have our sexy pack. Pa da da. I can't even talk today. I don't know what the deal is. Our sexy pack perk left. So we're going to go ahead and open this and hopefully get a full art or an EX or an ultra rare. Let's go, guys. We're going to be weighing another code. I'm feeling so generous today. MLPB. Oh, you know what this means, you guys. You know what this means. <sighs> MLPB season three. We coming at you right now. Let's see. Last pack right here. We got a Gardevoir Spirit Link. Very cool. A Tangrowth Fletchender. Also got a Bergmite Clauncher. Cool. A C Dot Nose Pass. Litleo. Our reverse is a Persian. Awesome. I actually really like that one. And our rare is an Inferne Apollo. Yes. All right. So we are on the board there again. So a hollow is worth two points. A break is worth three. So we got a total of five points here for the Grand Rapids Growlies. So hopefully that will be enough to go ahead and take the victory for today's video. But regardless, I mean, this is just some nice pulls out of a three pack blister. Not complaining whatsoever. So next week we will be opening the Fates Collide when I actually have it all here, all ready to go. So we got the Zygarde one up next so stay tuned for that i think it's a week from today and hopefully things will be equally as crazy so you guys of course don't forget to check out psycho crud's video and his channel he's got a ton of pokemon videos and he uploads quite frequently so if you're down to see a lot of pokemon stuff you know where to go so all the links that i did mention today will be in the description feel free to check there if you need any more information about the major league pack battles but uh should be a good time for the next two months we're gonna be battling and stuff it's gonna be crazy so thank you guys so so much for watching i really do appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy today's video whatsoever and we will see you guys next time. Bye!